Okay, in this video, we're going to be looking at simple voltage converters. And there will be charge pump circuits. Now the IC that we're going to use is this one here. It's made by Indersil. It's ICL7660. Now the patent has run out on this IC, so Maxim also makes this chip. It's the MAX1044. They also make a high current output version. It's the MAX660. Now this IC runs on 1.5 volts to 10 volts. It has an internal 10 kilohertz clock, which drives four MOSFET switches. And those switches drive these two capacitors. These are the charge pump capacitors. So this is a charge pump circuit that will produce a negative voltage supply output. So five volts into this circuit will get negative five volts out. So what can we use this circuit for? Well, I use it when I'm designing an op-amp circuit where I want a positive and negative supply on my op-amp. And I only have plus five volts available. So I use this for my negative voltage supply to drive my op amp. Now this circuit here is similar to uh, this circuit. You can see I've added two more diodes. Now this is a voltage doubler circuit. So 5 volts into this circuit will get 10 volts out. So what I use this for is for driving MOSFETs. Now if you want to switch a MOSFET using an Arduino Nano with 5 volts output, you would use a logic voltage MOSFET so you could drive it properly. But if you don't have a logic voltage MOSFET, then you, you'll have to drive it with 10 volts to drive the, the gate properly of the MOSFET. So I use this circuit here to drive the MOSFET properly with 10 volts. So these are two little handy and simple circuits that are easy to build. Okay, here's the data sheet for the ICL7660. And if you're using the Maxim chip, it's the MAX1044. Now this is the negative voltage converter circuit. You can see it's pretty simple. All you need is the IC, an 8-pin dip chip with two 10 microfarad capacitors, C1 and C2. Those are your charge pump capacitors. Now you could add a bypass capacitor from the supply voltage pin 8 to ground, and I'm using a 0.1 microfarad capacitor to my circuit from uh, pin 8 to ground. Now if the supply voltage is less than 3.5 volts, then you have to ground pin 6. So if you apply a plus 5 volts to pin 8, you'll get a negative 5 volts on pin 5. And if you apply a plus 10 volts on pin 8, you'll get a negative 10 volts on pin 5. Now notice the output capacitor C2 that the positive side is connected to ground. Okay here's a circuit diagram for the voltage doubler using the ICL7660 and you can see we've added two more components we've added two diodes. Now these are switching diodes I'm using 1N4148 diodes and the capacitors C1 and C2 are 10 microfarad capacitors. So whatever voltage we apply to pin 8 from 1.5 volts to 10 volts will get double the voltage across capacitor C2. Now the output voltage won't be exactly double the input voltage. We have to minus two diode voltage drops. So if you have a Arduino Nano project and it's run on five volts and you want to drive a MOSFET that's not logic level uh, MOSFET, then you can use this circuit to double the voltage from five volts to 10 volts to drive that MOSFET properly. Okay, I have both of my circuits powered up with plus 5 volts. That's my input voltage. You can see there. Now if I go to the output of my negative voltage converter, there's my minus 5 volts, which I could use for my negative supply on my op-amp circuit. If I go over to the voltage doubler with 5 volts input, you can see we get 9.1 volts output. So it's not exactly double because of the two diode drops that we have to take into consideration. Okay, here's a data sheet for a dual low power CMOS operational amplifier. It's ICL7621. This is the op amp I use in my projects when I need an op amp with a plus or minus supply and battery powered. This is very low power consumption. This chip only draws 100 microamps. So it's, so it's very good for uh, battery powered projects. Now the inputs on these op amps are protected. The outputs are fully protected against shorts, against ground, or either supply. So it's, it's a pretty bulletproof op amp. And if you look at the features, the wide operating voltage range, plus or minus 1 volt to plus or minus 8 volts. So if you have a project running on plus 5 volts, and you get your negative 5 volts from the ICL7660, you could run this op amp. It has a very high impedance. Uh, it's available in a single op amp if you don't need a dual. And the output voltage swing uh, swings from rail to rail. So this is a very handy uh, op amp that I use. And it comes in a dip package, so you could breadboard it. 
so it's very handy for breadboarding. Also, I've, I've used this op amp uh, with with uh, two AA batteries uh, with a plus and minus supply. So it'll run it will run as low as 1.5 volts plus or minus 1.5 volts. So it's a very handy little op amp. So if you have a project, you might want to consider the ICL7621 op amp. Okay, here's another data sheet. This is for a power MOSFET. Now this is the IRLZ44N. Now the L in the part number designates it as a logic level gate drive. So this is a very popular power MOSFET because you could actually drive the gate of this MOSFET with the output of the Arduino Nano 5 volts. Now if you look at the RDS on, that's the drain to source on resistance when this MOSFET is fully on, it's 22 milliohms, that's the advertised spec for this MOSFET. Now if we go down into the specs further, we can actually tell that it's a logic level MOSFET by looking at the gate threshold voltage, the VGS. Now you look here, the, the minimum is 1 volt and the maximum is 2 volts, so we know we could drive this MOSFET with 5 volts from the Arduino Nano. Now if you look at the drain to source on resistance, the RDS on, with a gate drive of 5 volts, our uh, RDS on resistance will be 25 milliohms. Now to get the advertised spec of 22 milli milliohms, we have to drive the gate with 10 volts. So even with a logic level MOSFET, there's even a benefit of driving it, the gate even with a higher voltage to 10 volts because you could get, bring the drain to source resistance uh, down for even further. So now when you're using a MOSFET as a switch, you want to be in two states, either totally on or totally off, and you want to switch between the two as fast as possible. You don't want to linger in between the two states or your power dissipation will increase. And you want to bring your drain to source on resistance down as low as you can if you're driving a very heavy load. But if you're just driving some relays, LEDs, a motor, contactor, and you're using Arduino Nano, uh, then it's no problem. You could drive this uh, MOSFET with 5 volts and you have no problems. But if you're driving something with a very heavy load and you're switching it very fast, you want to drive the gate with a higher voltage and maybe use a MOSFET driver so you could, you could charge and discharge the, the gate capacitance uh, very fast. Okay, now you know the benefits and usage of voltage converter charge pump circuits. You can use it to power the negative supply of an op amp, and here's my 7621 op amp on my breadboard. Or you can use it to drive the gate of a MOSFET, like this one here. This is my logic level MOSFET. Now I've built these circuits using a 555 timer, CMOS logic gates. I've built charge pump circuits. But using the 7660, it's very simple, it's low parts count, and it's very easy to build.